China is becoming the world's biggest provider in sustainable electric cars. China has developed a groundbreaking battery technology for solar-powered EVs that will blow your mind. This represents a significant step forward in the development of environmentally friendly car transportation. So, an electric car that charges itself. Sounds like something straight from the future. Stick around to find out how this technology works. Welcome back to EV Nation the place where we satisfy your electric needs. If you're a fan of electric vehicles like us, then you might consider to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And without any further ado, let's dive in. We live in the time that several companies from all over the world are making progress toward the delivery of mass-produced solar electric vehicles. In light of the giant gas-burning ball that stares down on us every day, increasing the driving distance of an electric vehicle seems like it should be a no-brainer. This viewpoint shared by several electric vehicle startups that are attempting to achieve this goal. Lightyear recently gave a presentation of the production version of the Lightyear Zero SEV, which will also start production later this year. The presentation was given in several different nations. Sono Motors, an electric car manufacturer with headquarters in Germany, is coming closer to the validation prototype phase for its flagship Scion model, which is slated to go into production in the year 2023. And if you think this car is a beast, wait until you see the next one straight from China. In the year 2016, a Chinese company known as Hanergy made its debut with a solar-powered automobile that they named the Solar R. Hanergy provided the vehicle with a battery pack and a converter, even though the vehicle's primary purpose was to get all of its power from the sun. Tianjin, China is home to the first solar-powered automobile in the entire country, which was created by a group of innovators there. Tianjin is the world's first automobile that runs entirely on solar energy and was manufactured in China. At the 6th World Intelligence Conference, the Tianjin Solar Automobile made its very first appearance in front of the general public not too long ago. Since that time, it has embarked on an entirely new adventure across mainland China. According to reports from the Chinese media in that country, the solar car was developed through the collaborative efforts of 42 businesses and three educational institutions in China over just five months. It comes standard with 47 various kinds of cutting-edge technology, many of which are now commonplace on high-end automobiles in the industry of automobile manufacturing. One example of this is the solar-powered vehicle that was built in Tianjin. According to reports, this vehicle is capable of autonomous driving at level 4 and higher. It is quite a bit larger than the solar module area of a solar EV like the Lightyear, which is equipped with 5 square meters, which is much greater than the solar module area of a solar EV such as the Lightyear. The following is further significant information regarding China's first automobile that runs entirely on solar power. A seat for the driver in addition to the other three passengers. This vehicle is 4 meters, 1.7 meters, and 1.8 meters in height. Body weight 2,250 pounds. The largest amount of electricity that can be generated in a day is 7.6 kilowatt hours on days with the most sunshine, and the top speed is 125 miles per hour. Even if these numbers are only the consequence of the energy provided by the sun, they are still very outstanding. However, when compared to the specifications of a solar electric vehicle or any other EV for that matter, they are not particularly intriguing. That, to put it politely, is quite interesting to consider. At the very least, Tianjin provides proof of concept for automobiles that are capable of being fueled entirely by a natural source of renewable energy that is abundant. It is intriguing to think about what types of potential the solar car gives for future engineers who are building ways for all of us to drive about without producing pollution. These engineers are trying to come up with ways for us to get around without polluting the environment. Do you think the Lightyear Solar EV will dominate the market? Let us know in the comments below! That's all for today's video. We'll be back with more soon, so please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. And until then, have an electrifying day!